Hello plant people, my name is Nora, also known as the Lekker Queen on Instagram. Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel where we talk about all things indoor plants. Today I am going to talk about pots and what kind of pots I use and why I use those pots. So I have my little Thai constellation here. Isn't she a little gorgeous thing? She's living in Lekka, of course, and she is living in a clear pot. So you can see that that clear pot shows everything that's going on on the inside. So you've got lots of ventilation in the pot so the roots are getting as much air as they can and you can see what's going on with the roots. So those are the roots over there and yeah, so it just makes it easier for me to take care of my plants when I can see what's going on. So hence the clear pots. Now, because I'm growing my plants in a semi-hydroponic setup, um, I like to see what's going on with the roots because as you know, root care is the ultimate. Healthy roots give a healthy plant. And sometimes there's just something going on with the roots and you just need to check what's going on and it's really easy to see. So clear pot. Now, I get my clear pots from our local hardware store here, and unfortunately, they do not have the added ventilation that I like. So this is a 14 millimeter pot. This, oops, this is a 10 millimeter pot. So bigger plants, I'll use this. Smaller plants, I'll use this. They do have holes at the bottom, which is great. So I can just put them in my reservoir and that nutrient is patching through to the lecker. Now, I will show you how I put added ventilation in my holes. So what I need for this is obviously some pots. I, you also need a soldering iron. I have a soldering iron here, and you can get these anywhere, local hardware shops, Amazon, literally anywhere. And then I also like to do this wearing gloves. Um, safety is important. This is, um, very very hot and ideally you want to do this in a very airy place in fact when I'm doing it I usually do it outside to be honest with you but obviously I have to do this inside today but I've got all my windows open just because we're burning plastic and that's got all that smell and all that really bad stuff that you don't want so you could have a mask as well and obviously it doesn't need to be said but just in case it does no young children, no pets anywhere close at hand because this is very hot and potentially dangerous. So I have preheated my soldering iron and I get my pot and I decide where I'm going to start. And there's a little very, very thin line that runs along that pot and I like to use that as my sort of uh, guide. So I'll start there and as you can see that goes in as smooth as anything and I'll do that as well and I generally like to do three so that is what that looks like so I will then go ahead and do the whole pot. So here we go. That whole pot has now got added ventilation. I try and do it in a nice symmetrical way so that my pot looks a bit pretty. And yes, it's just as simple as that. So you've now got your little DIY orchid-like pot that will ensure the utmost root health. So there you have it guys. Soldering iron, pot and it's all done. You've got your pot that is now going to look like this and your plants will love you for it. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.